What do you remember about before? Not much. Not anything? Brett, you know you can tell me. My mother. It's not specific memories, but feelings. Feeling safe. I can almost picture her eyes looking down on me. And I can't remember much more than that. I don't even know if it's real. But it doesn't matter anymore. I know what you mean. Anyway, I hope Mark's back from supply run soon. It's been a while. He'll come back. He always does. Welcome back. Find anything useful? Picked up a couple of cans, but couldn't find any more fuel for the generators. Not much left to scavenge out there. That's all that's left? Not entirely, but I think I found something far more valuable than food. Is this real? Yes. I found it growing out there, in nature. Just like how things used to be. How's that possible? Maybe the air isn't toxic. What if the air's breathable? Do you know what this could mean for us? We could live normally again. That's all very philosophical and all, but we all know that that's not true. Just because one tiny flower survived doesn't mean it's safe for us out there. This is the first sign of life in years, and you mean to tell me that it means nothing? No, this changes everything. But what if the air still isn't breathable? Are you taking his side? No, I'm just saying- If that... there's a chance that humanity can start again, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm gonna see if I'm right. Like hell you are. Get out of my way. Mark, don't do this. For your own good and for the sake of humanity, this vow stays shut. Humanity? Human- I'm doing a favor for humanity. What if, what if the world's habitable? We could start anew? What if there are others out there, Brett? And if you're wrong, if you go out there and die, Haley and I are the only ones left on this earth. And I'd be glad, because at least I'd know the truth. Mark, you've got to think about what you're doing right now. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Take your hands off that valve right now. You still don't believe me. That flower is living proof. I don't give a shit about one flower. If you let the air in here, you know what'll happen. Say it. We all die, and the only safe place left in this world is gone. No. When I turn this valve, we'll all be in a safe place. Maybe Mark is right. If the outside world is safe, we don't have to live in this stupid hole anymore. Maybe there are others out there, and we don't know it. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna stand idly by while the last hope for humanity dies. What the hell do you think you're doing? Okay, everyone, just calm down. Brett, we can talk about this. It doesn't need to happen. Just put the gun down. I'm 
sorry. You killed him. I did what I did for the good of mankind. Keep telling yourself that. We're gonna bury him. Look, we didn't have any other choice. It was him or all of us. Didn't have any other choice? You killed Mark. And for what? Haley, I did it for us. He was delusional, trying to convince himself it was safe out here. Whether it was right then and there, or when we were sleeping, Mark was gonna let the gas in. We would be dead right now if it weren't for me. He was your friend! And you don't seem to remember that. He wouldn't have killed us. Friend or not, I wasn't about to let the fate of the world lie in the hands of some psychopath. You're the one who killed him! I saved us! Unless he was right. You're still in denial? Look around you! The trees, the land, it's all dead. It's a wasteland. There's nothing left for us out here. Mark? Haley, I... We would be better off dead with the little hope that we had. The thought that we could live normally... We still can. We have been for years. I can't live like this anymore. What are you doing? I'm not gonna let his death be in vain. I'll see you soon. Hey, lady! <laughs> 